Here we go, part two of my toolbox tour. I am Armchair Engineer 85. Guys, I'm here to show you what I consider my uh, overflow or auxiliary toolbox. Uh, basically, uh, odds and end tools, and mostly this right here is half tools, half my welding setup for the moment. Um, and I'm here to show it with you guys. But what I want to show you first is when I was doing my last video here, it cut out with like literally seconds to go. So the last couple boxes here are just uh, Milwaukee drill bits. I got spade bits. Um, I've got some odds and ends here. You know, just ones I picked up extra over the years. This kit here is a Husky, but they're not all Husky in there. So this is my drill bit drawer. I've got my um, punch here, my spring loaded punch. And yeah, some more Milwaukee bits for my oscillating tool. Uh, this is a hole saw kit right here. Um, let's have a look. Oh, something. So I I got metal jigsaw blades. I love these. They come with, um, you know, they come with the kits when you buy, uh, not the jigsaws, but when you buy like sawzall blades. Um, I just labeled them. So I got my metal. These are for my jigsaws and these are wood right here so i got them all nice and separated and i love labeling because i love being organized so that was it um yeah and then i said everybody should have one of these drawers bolts nuts washers you know saves you a trip to har the hardware store and that's one of the video cut out so anyways that is it that's how close we were to the end of the video um it cut out because i'm just low on storage I've deleted apps, I've done everything I can, but anyways, let's save some time. So this uh, US General 2 uh, service tool uh, cart has been absolutely wonderful. I got the side train, everything you can see here. I've got the uh, three ton low profile Daytona Jack in green. Um, absolutely wonderful Jack. If you're gonna get a, if you're gonna get a Jack, you know what, get a low profile, unless you're dealing with like a truck, if you're a truck guy lifted, I totally understand, but so this is my overflow here. And I told you guys in the last video that I didn't do a lot of half inch and I didn't do a lot of SAE, but I did say that I did have these sockets and here they are right here. And you can see that I've got the green snap on uh, tray and the orange tray right here. And basically the way I have it is the green is SAE or Imperial and the orange is my metric. Now, to explain these sockets here, these are Craftsman non-USA. These are the, unfortunately the Chinese. I bought these, it was that master, um, the master mechanic set, and it was around the time that Sears was going bankrupt. Yeah, I, it, I'm sure you guys remember because we didn't have them in Canada and I bought this from Florida and they were blowing them out like it was it was insane like i can't remember if it was like 1000 sockets or something like that it's probably less than that but it, it was it was supposed to be like you'll never need another socket once you have this kit and i bought it and it had 12 point six point um you know a deep well uh short um i, I don't think it had e torques that's one thing i don't think it, it did have but it was basically everything and I bought it and this was my setup for the longest time and my whole thinking was I would grab you know by both handles on each side the trays and lift it towards where I needed it but it's very heavy and it just it was it was cumbersome and I it just it didn't work for me I don't know what it was but it just wasn't for me so I had a lot of 12 uh, point sockets and I just, I don't use 12 point, just like I, I rarely use SAE, but with 12 point, I like, I, I have not run into a situation where I needed a 12 point. And I know there's guys out there will say like, yeah, I, you know, you may work on something that needs a 12 point, um, so has a 12 point uh, fastener and you need a 12 point socket. Well, I just haven't run into that. I believe Jeep Wranglers or whatever, they may have some 12 points. So I ended up selling off all my 12 points, both metric and um, imperial. And I ended up getting back home in Canada and it ended up paying for these sockets that are right here. Um, yeah, so I, I, I kept all my six points here and I kept the SAE and it just, this has worked for me. 
and it's just been my overflow. Anytime I've needed a 12 point, the rare times, I just come here, I grab it. Same thing with an SAE. Um, these metrics, they, as I've been adding icon, they don't get used as much, but they're still handy from time to time. Um, they've got these nice holders here for uh, extensions. Uh, these are Pittsburgh Pro, same thing. I picked them up back in the day from uh, Harbor Freight and they've been very handy. But um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't complain. I sold off the 12 points and I was able to pay for these and they work great, but then I decided to move on from that. So I'll show you guys what else I've got. Like I said, this has basically been, you know, dubbed as my overflow slash my uh, welding. So I've got my welding gloves in here. I've got my TIG gloves and these are my basic, my MIG and stick. Um, they, I just, for the moment, I keep all my pamphlets in here. Any instructions uh, that I have, like for my welder, for, you know, uh, look at, there's my flashlight, like all my Milwaukee tools, everything is kept in here. I keep my secondary lenses for my welding hood. So it's pretty handy to have that because I've had to refer to it. Uh, I got my welding magnets in here, you know, got some uh, contact tips, um, some soapstone. I haven't really used these yet. Uh, metal gauge thickness gauge that came with my Miller welder, very handy. Uh, my plasma cutter, the uh, consumable kit. Um, and then, yeah, here I got a wire scraper, flint starter. Um, I got my stick welder, or sorry, my stick electrode holder, which I've used. Uh, my TIG, uh, which I haven't TIGged yet. I really do want to learn how to TIG. You can see the the uh, zip tie still on it from Miller, so I haven't used that yet. And then my TIG consumable kit. And yeah, listen, if you guys are into welding, you may want to look into Fireball Tools, and they've got a really great uh, YouTube page. And these are the squares that they have. Um, I can't remember the names. Uh, this one was called the Minion Square. I think this was the Monster Square. And then I can't remember this one right here, but these are absolutely wonderful for, um, you know, if you're going to line up, you can use your uh, C-clamps here to clamp on and get all the angles that you want, hold your metal in place. Uh, I got my regulator down here that came with my Miller Welder for TIG. Um, 7018 Hobart stick electrodes. And then I don't know if you can see back there, I just got, um, got some consumables here, flap discs, uh, just for my angle grinder. And then below here is just a hodgepodge of a couple of torque wrenches and my motor master um, battery charger and all that. So nothing special. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep, hold on to this for very long. I, I may, uh, Harbor Freight has that new, um, what is it? The 34 inch uh, full bank service cart. And it is awesome. Like it, it's a little bit bigger than this which I like. It's got the same lid as this that opens up. Um, I can take this tray off and it will bolt to the side of it. And it's got way more drawers that are deeper and, you know, more width. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I really don't need this down here. And basically it's just a better use for what I could do. And I, and I love the big chunky um, bumper guards it's got on the side, it says in US General. Um, it, it is expensive, like this one here, the Black Friday sale. I can't remember what I paid for it, but uh, currently right now, Black Friday, like you can get it for like 189 American, um, which I know I didn't pay that for it, but um, yeah, and right now that, the 34 inch is uh, $5.99. So pretty expensive, but we'll see in the future. That's kind of where I'm going with. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how things used to be like i said this uh i'll give you guys a little a little in depth here so you can look around sorry for all the shadows but um yeah this is this is how you, things used to be um these are very nice tool trays i do i do like them they just they weren't how i wanted to work and uh these may very well go away in the future and i may sell them and then use the money towards maybe buying a new uh service bank uh, the 34 inch who knows i i don't know but thank you guys for watching armchair engineer 85 i hope you like my two-part uh toolbox tour um like comment and subscribe and if you guys have any comments like like just say good or bad i don't really care 
or any constructive things that you want to say, I appreciate it. Armchair Engineer E5, I'm out.